Hi, my name is Philip, and um, I'm doing my F speech topic on um, uh, what would you do if you had unlimited funds for seven days and you weren't allowed to save any money or buy any stocks. Now, the first thing I would do is I would actually buy some real estate simply because of the fact I can get rental property and people always need places to rent. But in order to do this inside of a seven day period and make sure I have enough property, I need to come up with a plan. So, this is the plan I came up with. I want to take this day by day. On day one, I want to go out by myself some nice clothes, maybe a, a nice car. Now, Grinch, I said nice, not flashy, because I want to look more business like, not like some Playboy model. Um, next, I want to get a couple of real estate agents, not just get one, because if one guy fall, one person fall through, the other person can pick up his slack. Um, I also would want to also get a real estate lawyer, just so that this person will have knowledge of the contract I'm going over and to the fact that I've only got seven days to do all this in, it's really going to be kind of a crunch time. I want to make sure that I have um, enough knowledge of what's going on and there's no loopholes inside the contracts that I didn't know about. Um, I will let my real estate agents know that I want to get probably about, say, about 10 to 15 houses, two or three apartment complex, and about 10 to 15 condos. This way it's not over, over resilient, but it's probably just enough so that if I need to, um, I can rent places out and still have vacant places and still have a steady income. And the fact that it can be paid for, there's no mortgage on it, makes it a lot easier. Um, on day two, I would actually go out and look for some myself an office building. Now, the reason I would do this is because I could just get a, a small office building, I'd rather get a big office building because I can also rent other offices out to other businesses and stuff that want to also have a place. Um, also, during that day, I want to go ahead and get my phone turned on, my internet, all my utilities, lights. Uh, I would go, probably go to a temporary agency and get a temp, uh, secretary and uh, an accountant because I'm going to have a lot of funds going to have to be moved in a short period of time. I need somebody already experienced into it. And Tim Agency always have people there that are looking for work. Um, also on this day, I will go ahead and look into what business license I will get and go ahead and purchase it. And also probably set an appointment for the Friday in order for the, um, to go to the tax, property tax office. Um, because I'm going to make sure I have to pay property taxes and all this. I don't want to get anything taken away. Now, Wednesday would be day three, which I would actually go through the process of actually looking and um, looking for the different properties. Now, granted, uh, I said quite a few properties that I want to get, which means it's probably going to take an all day process, so it'll probably start real early and go to real late. That's why that whole day would be just for that. Um, Thursday would be put up or shut up. I would actually go through the process of actually buying the property. Um, I would. Um, have everybody, of course, come to me rather than me go out to individual places because with that many people in that many places, I won't have enough time to in that day in order to get everything done and purchase all at once. I'll also probably have a bank on standby that I can call and transfer the funds into. Uh, at that time, I also have my real estate lawyer already there looking over the, uh, the paperwork. Probably I would instead of getting a single lawyer, I'll probably get a, a, a lawyer firm. This way that you know they have more than one looking at it person looking at it and both real estate agents of course will be there as well on over the property. Now day five would actually go through the last minute um, property, anything that I couldn't purchase on on day four, which is Thursday, I can do it that morning, of course. Uh, also we got up all the paperwork that I would have and going over to the tax all the hold I was able to set an appointment for that afternoon. That way I can pay for the property taxes and hopefully pay it in advance as many years they'll let me pay in advance. But this time I got unlimited funds later I won't have unlimited. I also want to figure out how much money I spent that week because, of course, you got to pay Uncle Sam his due. So I make sure about 35% of what I spent, I send off Uncle Sam for income tax. Granted, probably more than I have to spend, but I'd rather get a refund than having to pay later. And uh, also, I will let my, uh, my lawyers and my real estate agents let them know that, hey, by Saturday, I need to know exactly how much I owe y'all. And if you get all the, fun, all the money um, bills into me by, let's say, 10 o'clock in the morning, then I will give you a 10% bonus of, of what, on top of what you got, which is to give them kind of incentive to, hey, let's get this in to him. We're going to make some extra money. Now, day six and seven, I've already went through a whole stressful week. It's stressing out the whole time. I will go through, pay off my lawyer, pay off all my agents. At this time, I want to unwind. I probably book me a first class ticket to, I don't know, probably the Bahamas. Kind of relax for two days, stay in a nice little penthouse. So, I mean, I've already set up my income for later, so I might well have a little fun with the money. Um, just the only thing I just got to remember is to pay my motel bill ahead of time because the last thing I want to do is get my money and not have any money anymore. So I'll conclude just to sum it all up. First thing I'm going to do is come up with a good plan. 
get a couple real estate agents, make sure I pay all my taxes, and um, remember to make the plan, stick to the plan, because as they always say, no one plans to fail, they just fail the plan. Oh.